Well, first, uh, congratulations to the Warriors. They were fantastic. You know, to all of them, you know, from ownership to to Bob, to Steve, uh, Mike, and the whole staff, Ronnie, and the whole group. The players, obviously, they play a great brand of basketball, fun to watch. Uh, they were fantastic. And, you know, they did it with class. So uh, hats off to them. Great job. Coach, Carlos Nava, ESPN Deportes. Where are you? Here. Coach Manu said that maybe in his future, before he decides his future, he's going to talk to you. What would be your recommendation after watching him play in this playoff if he's thinking to come back for another season? Well, you know, Manu, uh, he's a grown man, uh, and he'll figure out what is best for him and, and his family. Uh, you know, we started him tonight uh, out of respect. That was the whole reason for starting him. Uh, you know, it, before the game, you think, you know, it may or may not be his last game that he ever plays in. And I did not want to miss the opportunity to honor him in front of our home fans for his selflessness over the years. I mean, this is a Hall of Flame, Hall of Fame player uh, who allowed me to bring him off the bench for, well, I can't even remember now, the last decade or something, because it would make us a better team overall. Uh, so obviously he's a big reason for our success. And he deserved to have uh, that, that night of respect so that he really feels uh, that we appreciate everything he's done uh, over the years. If he decides he's going to play again, uh, that's you know, up to him. But I won't try to convince him one way or the other. I don't think uh, he needs that. Pop, when the crowd started chanting, Manu, Manu, was it hard for you not to get swept up in the emotions of the night a little bit? Of course. I'm going to try not to go there. I guess that almost kind of ruins the next question I was going to ask you. Then don't ask it. If it's, <laughs> I don't want to ruin your questions. If, yeah. you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to shoot my shot. Um, you know, it's look. like somebody asking for an autograph, and they come over, they say, I never do this, <laughs> or I hate to do this, you know, and you say, no, you, you don't hate it that much, you know. Yeah. Can you describe your feeling when you, you know, subbed him out uh, at the game at that, that what could be final time? No, you're not going to get me wishy-washy here. <laughs> but it worked out great, you know, starting him, and I'm sure he felt special uh, as a symbol and an image. Pop, or Ramona Shelburne over here at ESPN. Hi. You, you've talked about the Warriors and how good they are, and you sort of said, I think back in January, you said it's beautiful. Sure. Right? You're okay with the competitive sure. balance aspect of this, but I mean, I, I, how do you feel after, after a run like this? I mean, they, they get done with a series like this, and it's Durant and Curry and Clay. Is this, is this okay for the game to have a team like this? Sure. I, I, you know, everybody tries to put together as, as much talent as they can, and that's what they did. But, you know, make, make no mistake, I, I think, you know, they get a short short shift sometimes when he says, well, they're so talented and they're over talented. They are talented. They're really talented, but that's not the whole equation. That's not everything uh, that describes them. This is, you know, maybe the best defensive team in the league uh, on top of everything. So they don't just play with talent. Uh, they execute at the defensive end of the floor on offense. Uh, no team is more unselfish. Uh, you know, finding the open man and that sort of thing. And they get credit for that. You know, coaches are always trying to get their team to do that. But they've got a multitude of people who are unselfish in that regard and play a beautiful game. And on top of that, play D at the other end. So they deserve a lot more credit uh, than, well, they're talented, they're supposed to win. Uh, that, that is disrespectful to them in my book. They're way, way more than just their talent. Coach, can you describe the play of your young guys tonight and led by, by Kyle off the bench? Yeah, that's a good group of young kids. You know, we had, I think, seven new players this year. And I think for, for our part, uh, I think they had a great season. You know, when you, when you get seven new guys and we played for the first time without Timmy's leadership to win 61 games and play well through the first round and through the second round and, you know, the beginning of the, of the conference finals here, uh, I think they did a fine job for themselves. And the young kids... 
uh, had a big part of that, you know, throughout the year and in the playoffs. So I think, you know, their future is bright. Pop, can you talk about what went into the decision of not playing LaMarcus in the fourth quarter? Uh, we were down by 40. <laughs> and I didn't think it would make much sense to have him go back out there. Is this going to be a good one? I'd like to leave on a happy note here <laughs> after getting my butt kicked. Is it? Go ahead. Um, circumstances always different every game, every series. Kawhi's well, that's good. Injury, I agree with that. Injury, Kawhi, Kawhi's injury being kind of foremost among uh -huh. that. But for the Warriors to start 12-0. and Is this going to be a long question? Because if I it think is. It, I think it already is, but it's not going to be much longer. 12-0 12, 12 in the playoffs, how impressive is that to you? Really impressive. <laughs> Not really, really. Anybody else have a question that makes sense? And I'll be happy to answer it. What kind of wine are you going to have tonight? <laughs> I'm just trying. Yes, sir. You know? Pop, going back over the years, I mean, we've seen the NBA change a lot from where it was 15, 20 years ago. And I'm just curious as to what your thoughts on the prevalence of the three ball now. And, I mean, the Warriors always <laughs> obviously use it. I mean, the, the yeah. Rockets were huge with it. I mean, right. what's it change, how's it changed the game and what's it doing to the game? Well, you know, I, I don't see too many big men that are real interested in playing down on the block anymore. Uh, you know, everybody wants to shoot it. And uh, I think that uh, – I've stated many times I, I hate the three-point shot. I, I've often said, well, why don't we have a four-point shot? Let's have a five-point shot. Make it a circus. And, and then there's nothing going on except, you know, you feel like you're in Vegas every night, uh, that sort of thing. But you've got to go with what it is. There's that many players that can shoot the three. Uh, you better be able to guard it, and you better have people that make a three. Because, you know, analytics, you don't have to be a genius to, to see what the three does. Uh, and the Warriors have a multitude of people who can shoot it. That Philosophically, I can still hate it, but I still have to use it. And when we've won championships, we've shot threes. Uh, and it was one of the reasons that we won. Uh, so I, I guess it's, it, those, maybe those ideas are mutually exclusive, but I hate it, but you use it. Coach. I hope they don't do that four-point thing because I think Steph and Clay will be able to make those two. <laughs> Everybody will be in more trouble. You saw the Warriors obviously several times during the regular season, including one time pretty late in the regular season. Did it seem like they reached another level in the playoffs, that they found a different gear, that maybe they gelled in a way? No, I, I didn't really. I didn't you know, watch it that closely to, to feel that or to see that. Coach, you've watched Steph come up in this league. He's cut his teeth against teams like you. What impresses you about how he, how he performs that, you know, as he's grown? Well, you know, he's, he's taken on the responsibility to be a star every night. And a lot of people can't do that. That's number one. Uh, and number two, he's uh, had the, the wisdom to uh, make his game even more solid, you know, a little bit less mustard. Uh, and a little bit more fundamentally sound, uh, which you know reduces turnovers, uh, gets more shots for teammates. So he's he's been willing to tone it a little bit, you know, over the past few years. And the possessions are that much more powerful, that much more. Uh, there's no dry possessions, uh, fewer turnovers, that kind of thing. And obviously his confidence has, has gone through the roof because you know he realizes that what he does is is special, but it doesn't diminish his attitude and approach and edge uh, as he approaches every game. So he's, he's, he's very special. Thank you. Take care.